The story is about the hike. A heartwarming family story about a vigor and her best friend, her grandfather, on a hiking trip with her grandfather. Mandy learns many gentle lessons about love, family, and relationships. This book is a must on every child's bookshelf. Mandy was lucky as she and her mother lived with her grandparents, and she liked nothing better than to spend time with her grandfather. You see, he was always making something, and she enjoyed watching, learning, and sometimes even helping him finish whatever he was doing. Grandfather, what are you building in your workshop today? Mandy asked. She giggled as she said, it looks like you are playing with two long sticks. Well, Mandy, he said, I'm going to make two walking sticks with your help, one for you and one for me, then I have a surprise. All right, Mandy shrugged. Where do I start? After some time, Mandy, with her grandfather's help, finished the walking sticks. They were two of the most beautiful walking sticks she had ever seen. With the part removed, they were sanded smooth hand. Each had a funny-looking face covering them. These are really nice, Mandy said. But just what do we do with them? Oh, that's a surprise, granddaughter, he replied. Tomorrow morning, we are going on a hike in the woods and these walking sticks will help make the hike easier. So now it's time to clean up and go to sleep so we are well rested for the hike. The next morning, Mandy didn't need an arm to wake her. She was up, dressed, and ready to go as the sun rose and the day began. She went to the kitchen and saw that her grandfather was busy baking sandwiches, water, snacks, and other items in their backpacks. It looks like we are going to be hiking for a long time, Mandy said. It will be an all-day hike, he replied. I think we have everything, so grab your walking stack and let's go. What about breakfast, Mandy asked. Oh, did I forget to mention that we are going to stop and have breakfast at diner, he said with a smile. The journey began. After a great breakfast and a long drive, they arrived at the pace of a mountain and the beginning of the trail. This is beautiful, Mandy said. Just where are we hiking? To the very top of the mountain, where we will have lunch, rest, maybe take a swim, and then hike back down, he replied. Swim? Mandy said excitedly. Is there a lake on the top of the mountain? Yes, her grandfather replied. There was a pond surrounded by big flat rocks. It was covered from the mountain during the last ice age and is filled with clear cold water. Wow, was all Mandy could say. As they hiked up the mountain, Mandy asked many, many questions. What kind of tree is that? How high are we? Are there peers around here? Are there any other people up here? What do we do if we get lost? Are there snacks? And of course, are we there yet? Her grandfather answered all her questions the best he could and explained that they were in a very natural area. Not many people or sorts of our life even peers. He helped her grand understand and respect the natural beauty around them, particularly the animals. He taught her how to use a compass and things to help them. Be suffer while they hike it. Like before stepping over a log, put your walking stick on the other side to let any animals like a snake know you are there. Whistle a song or make some noise to let the big, bigger animal know you are in their area. In a soft voice, her grandfather said, Mandy, there are a few things to remember when you are hiking or anywhere for the matter. The earth is our mother. Take care of her. As they hiked a little farther, the forest opened, and Mandy saw the pond surrounded by large flat rocks. They had arrived, and it was almost like being in a different world. Mindy picked a large log that extended out into the water for them to rest on. It had been warmed by the sun and was the perfect place for lunch. As her grandfather unpacked the food, she learned over and wiggled her fingers in the cold water. Immediately, 
Several small fish came by and nibbled at her fingers. She shirked in a surprise and then realizing the fresh water just curious placed her hand back into the water and washed as the fish waited around her fingers. She laughed and played with the fish until she heard her grandfather say, Time for lunch! After lunch and the resting period, they took a swim. The water was deep and Maddie couldn't read the button, no matter how hard she tried. She giggled each time a curious fish nibbled at her body and watched a deer come down to have a drink. It was a wonderful day and she was sentenced when she heard her grandfather say, Mandy, it's time to dry off and being the hike down to the car. After making sure everything was just like it was when they arrived, they began their hike down the mountain. After a short time, Mandy asked, Grandfather, can we take a different trail down the mountain? I don't see why not, he replied. After a short time, the trail began blending into the surrounding brush and then disappeared. I am scared, Mandy said. I think we are lost. No, we are not lost, her grandfather said. But we, are, we aren't on the trail, so we will have continued hiking down the mountain in the direction of the car. Just enjoy the surroundings and being together on our first hiking adventure. As they continued down, Mandy said, Grandfather, I have a problem at school and I don't know who to talk to. Talk to me, he said. I would like, but you are my grandfather and you may get angry because you are family, not well, like a friend. Now Mandy's grandfather had to do some serious thinking. After all, she was right that as her grandfather, he may get angry or his feeling hurt, but she needed a big person as a friend. Mandy, he said in a serious tone, if I were to promise that anything we talked about would stay between us and that I would not get angry or talk to you as your grandfather, but rather as an old friend, would you talk with me? Is that a promise? She asked. Yes, he said softly. And you know I have never broken a promise to you. She gave him a big hug and being to talk. Soon they were at the bottom on the mountain and picking the car. Before leaving, her grandfather told for a minute and said, Granddaughter, any time you need me as your friend and not your grandfather, pick up your walking stick and ask to go on a hike, I will be... Secret God. This was the best day ever, Mandy said. I was with my grandfather, my new best friend, and I have a talking walking stack.